three very unimportant little people were doing the best they could with an idea, and that's about all they had. And I don't know, maybe that night these three people were making history. The first time we knew that we really had something great on our hands was when we presented an early version of the product to a business executive here in the region and he exclaimed how much better the product was than anything he'd seen on the market and he essentially on the spot signed a contract worth hundreds of thousands of euros and we left the meeting really high-fiving going, okay, we, we're really onto something here. I think most of the core components that we have still in the platform, they were present back then. Um, it was less colorful, um, less usable. A couple of days ago, I saw a screenshot of the first version, and it's astonishing that the core components are still there. I came to Düsseldorf in order to explore this idea, then took it uh, to, to found Cognigy back in 2016 which has been an amazing journey. Right now, all companies are having demand for conversational interfaces uh, to serve customers better with uh, this type of technology. And uh, we are a global leader uh, of conversational AI built on that idea. Before we got the first investment, we spoke to what felt like hundreds of investors. And then we found a group of investors that was willing to pour millions into the company, essentially backing our idea with their resources. And at that time we knew it's not just us believing in that vision, but it's actually others that are willing to back that vision as well. Yeah, I think in the very beginning, the first version of the product was very focused and purpose-built for developers. Um, meanwhile, and this is what we did in the last couple of years, we really focused on making the platform more accessible. We um, built this amazing graphical conversation editor to make it way more usable for non-developers. With each major release, version 2, then a year later version 3, then version 4, we leapfrogged the, um, the capabilities that already existed on the market at the time. By now we're named as a leader in the space globally. Not just a leader, but the leader capability-wise, sitting on top of every other conversational AI company globally, which is something that made us tremendously proud. Well, isn't it amazing looking at Zeth in five years already? Time's flying so fast and uh, we we truly built a global uh, market leader um, from just the basics ideas that were uh, there at the beginning. And we couldn't have done that without uh, the diverse group of people that we have and uh, the international and growth mindset that we are embracing into the company. The secret to Cognigy's success, in my opinion, is it doesn't matter where you're coming from or who you are, but if you want to be a part of Cognigy and you're working here, you can ask who you want in order to get a cross-department answer to all your questions. And this is what makes us so successful here. So I'm seriously impressed with this dynamic that exists here at Cognigy. Everyone is working so hard and does their best to fulfill the most beautiful job. I'm just super happy to be here. To see the drive and the passion, uh, not only for the product, but also for the crew. I think that's what makes us really powerful. The secret to our success, I guess that as a, as a team, we're very creative. There's no, no real limit, you know? If there's a challenge, the customer wants something, we will give it a really good hands-on shot and uh, we'll make it work. I can also see the Cognigy team growing to potentially thousands of people that cover all corners of the globe. So that's really exciting. We will experience fascinating new use cases never been heard of created with our platform. Happy 5th birthday, Cognigy! Happy 5th anniversary, Cognigy! Happy 5th birthday, Cognigy! Happy 5 years, well done, Cognigy. Happy 5 years of Cognigy! Keep on